This is the Masungi J Reserve in Rizal Province. It offers a breathtaking view of the Sierra Madre Mountains. Just more than an hour drive from Metro Manila, this gem of rock formations and forest is a hit among tourists. The development of this conservation project dates back to the year 2000. And since its construction, it has become a haven for endemic and endangered species of flora and fauna. While the staff of Masugi has preserved the area for years, the threat of illegal encroachers remains a challenge to this day. It is a challenge that its rangers have long accepted. A challenge that protecting this paradise entails danger. This is Ben Dumaliang, founder of the Masungi Geo Reserve. A civil engineer, he was initially involved in a 1996 government housing project in the area that later fell through. In 2000, the Department of Environment and Natural Resources tapped Blue Star Construction and Development to convert the land into a conservation park. We saw promise in the land. It started when uh, we saw the first rock. It's only about that high, mm -hmm. in, in the middle of the uh, initial 130 hectares of the housing project. And there and then we decided it should be a park. I was already enamored with the rock, not realizing it is a geological heritage. It was uh, a thing of beauty to me. It must be preserved. With the help of a staff of 12, Blue Star explored the area to develop, make alterations, and rebuild. The guiding principle is really respect for the environment. Um, when you respect the environment, you don't destroy it. Fast forward to more than two decades later, the Masungiji Reserve is now one of the top destinations in Rizal Province. Its most famous route is the Discovery Trail, which tourists can explore in a three to four hour hike. It gives visitors a sweeping vista of what the Jay Reserve has to offer. Here you can see the Instagram famous Sapot ni Rick or Rick's Web, named after one of the park rangers, Ricardo Pajareto. It is a web-like structure where tourists can stop by and take photos of the view of the Laguna de Bae and rock formations Nanay and Tatay. The rock formations visitors see all around the Jay Reserve date back to the Paleocene epoch formed 60 million years ago. So far, uh, madali, madali lang naman yung papunta dito sa Sapot. So, uh, meron ng established trail papunta dito. Itong Sapot yung, I think, one of the most iconic spots in Masungi. So, kung maki makikita nyo to sa Instagram, dito nag-group shots yung mga tao, nakahiga sila. There are also different rope courses in the trail to help you climb over rocks. You can also visit the Yungib ni Ruben or Ruben's Cave, named after Ruben Gyanan, the ranger who discovered the cave. Since it opened to the public in 2015, Masungi amassed support from tourists, advocates, and scientists. Through social media, weekend warriors, hikers, and even celebrities helped put the place on the map. Along the trail, visitors have the chance to spot the Philippine hawk eagle and the indigo-banded kingfisher, both endemic birds in the Philippines. It is also home to a rare microsnail subspecies named the Masungi microsnail discovered in 2020. And if you time your visit right, you may also see Jaycee's vines. Ben says the biggest challenge in Masungi is land speculation. Lahat ng tao gusto kunin yung lupa uh, uh, for themselves. 
and some government uh, officers are complicit. Despite the threats, they barely get any help from the government. Well, it's really a solitary journey, especially because we are we are the only party that is hindering what vested interests are thriving here or are uh, being proposed here. Guarding the Jay Reserve is not an easy task. Over the years, Ben Staff and Masungi faced threats from powerful people who wanted to claim the land and the government forces who colluded with them. In 2004 or 5, our entire project team was rounded up by the National Bureau of Investigation upon the behest of a land grabber. In 2010, our entire project team was also arrested again, again by a government agency, the Special Action Force. Storm bus, machine gunned our men and brought them to jail upon the behest of a quarry company who is interested in the land. And then later in 2016, it was the army, the army itself, that machine gunned and you know, used grenade launchers against our park rangers. In July 2021, two of Masungi's forest rangers were shot. Kukan Maas, who has been in the job for 10 years now, recalls that fateful night when he almost lost his life. Nung July 24 po, ang gabi po, nagpapatrol po ako ng alasudyo po, ng gabi. Biglang may bumato, malaking bato sa dinding, dinding na barracks namin po. Pagyo ko namin po, Binaril na po kami, bigla na may pumutok na po. So, natamaan natamaan po kami, dalawa sa kasamaan ko. Uh, siya, sa ulo siya natamaan eh. Sa, ako Saan naman. Po Dito po, ito po. Ayan. Yeah. Ito po na, nagsakto talaga po yung ligo. Na sintro eh. Ako po yung critical po eh. Kasi, hindi natanggal yung bala. Kailangan po upiran. Despite the life-threatening incident, Kukan continues his job as a guardian of the forest. Ano po masaya po ako sa trabaho po na mga ngalaga po ng kalikasan po. Kaya kahit nakakatakot, pabapatuloy ko pa rin po yung mga ngalaga po ng kalikasan po. This is Billy Dumaliang, Ben's daughter. As the managing trustee of Masungi J Reserve, Billy, together with her sister Anne, oversees the area and defends it from illegal loggers and quarries. They are also tasked to ensure that forest rangers like Kukan are safe. The shooting sa kanila was a culmination of the tensions in that mm -hmm. area where we were trying to prevent the expansion of swimming pool resorts into mm -hmm. the watershed. Na hanap niyo na ba kung sino yung or na prove na kung sino yung bumaril sa dalawang rangers. The rangers filed a criminal complaint sa mm -hmm. Rizal Prosecutor. Just recently, we received uh, more evidence towards pointing out uh -huh. the mastermind behind the project, which is an owner of a swimming pool resort. Billy and Anne's commitment to protecting the environment is due in part to their exposure to their father's advocacy while growing up. Can you tell us Kung paano kayo first na involved ni Anne dito sa Masumi? Was it okay. part of your childhood na? Yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. Nung bata kami, uh, siguro ako mga 6 to 8 years old pa. Uh -oh. Weekends, dinadala kami sa site ni oh. Papa. So through the years, nakita namin ni Anne. Siguro, you know, hindi naman consciously, but because of our dad's involvement, nakita uh -oh. namin yung transformation niya mm -hmm. from this rocky, uh, area that we used to have as a weekend um, uh -oh. visit visiting site um, to now a forest slowly over the years. 
What inspires you? What motivates you na humarap sa land grabbers? What keeps me motivated is kahit na mahirap siya, kahit na it tests your patience, you can see change happening step by step, inch by inch. Yeah. You can see that the work that you do, the things that you say or not say, has an impact on what happens. So I think yon the the fact na I can make an impact through the mm-hmm. work that I do and I mm-hmm. see it happening. It's the most fulfilling thing. And iniisip ko rin na you know it's it's not necessarily um you know your choice. Um, it's also a matter of your calling. Na mm-hmm. I was you know uh, luckily the daughter of a genius environmentalist engineer. <laughs> And I'm so proud to be that. Mm-hmm. And I've been given this chance to to be here to be in a sweet. place such as Masungi. Ben says he's also concerned for his daughter's safety. I wish they were home safer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but actually it's also a very good education for them. I'm very, very proud of what they have done here. Especially with the Masungi uh, coming of the Masungi Jerusalem uh, era, actually you can call it era, that including the awards it, it garnered, you know, was the only protection that, that we are getting. The um, exposure, especially international exposure, affords us the only protection. Masungi J Reserve is now recognized globally for its efforts towards conservation and reforestation. In 2019, the United Nations World Tourism Organization hailed Masungi J Reserve as one of the most innovative and sustainable tourism projects in the world. A lot of us have achieved and with a little more push, I think you know, we're on the brink of really making it a success. So, Alam namin the challenges, mm-hmm. the threats, the pressure is only going to get mm-hmm. higher, stronger, yeah. more intensive in the next few years. All we want is that it stays the same, mm-hmm. diba? that it stays protected um, from all the encroachments, urbanization, na mm-hmm. pwedeng dumating dito. So Uh-oh. we really have to stand our ground, like the, these limestones which have stood forever. Currently, mineral production sharing agreements or quarry agreements covering the 1,300 hectares of protected area in the Masungi J Reserve and the Upper Marikina Watershed are in force. As of date, at least four Metro Manila mayors now join calls to urge the DNR to cancel these agreements. The mayors of Pasig, Marikina, Muntinlupa, and Quezon City say their constituents are annually affected by floods and landslides exacerbated by unlawful and misplaced quarrying being done in the area. Ben, his daughters, and the forest rangers that guard the Masungi J Reserve vowed to continue the work of protecting the land. Why do you continue po the work that you do, despite the danger? I uh, it's uh, s- 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 actually uh, we, we are tempted every now and then <laughs> to abandon it. Uh, but each time I look at the birds that have come back and the trees that will be left behind, I thought. It would have been prudent for anyone to leave this place, given all the challenges. If we abandon it, who will look after the wildlife, after the birds, after the trees? We gave them a little hope, and we will abandon them again.